Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome to today's reading of Rhapsody of Reality. Welcome to the new month of March. Today is March the 1st and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, The Blessing of Walking in Righteousness. Our opening scripture is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10, and I read, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Hallelujah. What a beautiful opening verse. The words we just read in our opening scripture are quite inspiring and profound. Amazing promises for Israel. While the fulfillment for Israel would be at the millennial reign of Christ, we presently live in and enjoy those blessings as the Church of Jesus Christ. They are our reality in Christ Jesus. Now, hallelujah. We are fearless and walk in dominion because the Lord is our God. He is our strength. We are marvelously helped of Him. We are upheld by the right hand of His righteousness. The right hand of His righteousness refers to Christ. And Christ is our righteousness, as read in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. Hallelujah! Then, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 17, he says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me saith the Lord. This is part of the blessings of being His righteousness and walking in righteousness. There is more. In Isaiah chapter 45, verse 24, the Bible says, Surely shall one say, In the Lord have I righteousness and strength, even to Him shall men come, and all that are incest against Him shall be ashamed. Think about that. It says, All your adversaries shall be ashamed. Anyone Who's incensed against you shall be mortified, disgraced. It's the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then in the 12th verse of Isaiah 41, the Lord says concerning your adversaries, Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing. This is your heritage because you walk in his righteousness. Hallelujah. Then in the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 7, he tells us never to be perturbed by the reproach of men. The word already declared the end of their actions. They'll be abased and brought to shame. Hallelujah. Yours is to keep walking in righteousness, bearing fruits of righteousness. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 14, In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Glory to God, this is your life. Walk in the light of it. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your holy hands and take this confession right after me. I am established in righteousness. I am led by the Spirit in the triumphal excursion of life. Christ is my victory and my righteousness. He is the glory of my life. In Him I live and move and have my being. Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. For you to understand today's message even better, I recommend that you take some time to study these following scriptures. From the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verses 14 to 15. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 69 to 71. And finally, from the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 4. Hallelujah! Everything that we read today is just mind-boggling. I suggest that you listen to this message at least two more times. Let it sink in that we are walking in the righteousness of God. Do you know who you are? Karabaya! Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, if you are yet to accept the Lord Jesus into your life, this is your moment. This is your time. Kindly stay till the end of this message and follow me as I take you through the prayer of salvation. Glory be to God. See you again tomorrow. You are righteous. 
We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com That's tnimsia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.